Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your next session of Group Therapy. I am King Bear in the building. Michelle K. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a really good show for you today. Uh -huh. uh, hope you like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're not going to waste much time. So, Michelle K., you ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right. Let's get to it. One thing we're talking about with leaders is if you go to group therapy, and this is something that I emphasize, no two group leaders are necessarily going to lead group in the same way. You That's see what I'm saying? Crazy. So by the time I got out the military, I divorced her. Like she got the divorce papers, like the day I got out. So I was literally like brand new single. So it was just like mm -hmm. I'm on the hunt. Like I, wow. like <laughs> I had turned my my sights to like, let me go out here and find this stuff. <laughs> and then Intel was throwing money at me, so it was like. Oh, oh, I'm rich and on the hunt. Yeah, oh. it's Canada. It was like, oh yeah, I walked out. No, I was he building. Coming. I was building my coochie <laughs> resume. I'd sit whenever whenever I didn't have no dates. I'd sit at, sit at the crib and be like, okay. So just in case some of these women want to, if we go on a date and they ask me, so tell me about yourself. I would literally set, you know, my, oh, well, you know, I'm former military, you know, oh, you Marine Corps. That that's what people, oh, that's what people, yeah. that's, that's what they, what, military, what? Uh-huh, uh-huh. What? Marine okay. Corps, you know, I have my degree, and I, you know, I, I've i done this, I've been to these many places. Like, I had it, I had yeah, it ready. Right. Right. Yo, the bullet was in the gun, and it was like, go ahead, open your mouth and ask for it. I was in the that's, face. That's crazy. I, I had it ready. So I was like, yo, if I put this whole spill and I'm not in between your legs at the end of this night, then I need to alter my 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 resume. Like I need to say it was like That's I, a damn shame. I know. But and it was killing them. Hate. It was <laughs> killing them. They weren't ready for me. They no, were so because not ready. you set them up and knowing that it they didn't understand what they was being set up for. Mm -mm. But you had the plan mm -hmm. and they was just a victim. Mm -hmm. And they either they had to say, shit, do you want to take that chance or not? But look like they said fuck it. And uh, Yeah. I mean, I was young. I was ridiculous shape because I had just got out the military. You know, tall, black, mm -hmm. educated, world traveled. I, Joe, you say you had say money that. in the pocket. Yo, I was bachelor number one. I was. Yo, they was not even ready. Oh yeah, when you say you showed up to see Tiny with your little tight yeah, shirt on. Yeah, I had my yeah, freaking yeah, shirts on. What are you talking about? I was dying like, yeah. like, yeah, I know, I got it in. When she yeah. said that, like, yeah. Yup. Didn't even know I was the damn fly in the net, in the web. Didn't even know. Yep. What you say? You and that was that years like, later. You, you I was out of like, practice. Oh my god. How does he just say that? To come me? on, come on over here on the bed. I don't bite. On the bed, what the? Where is my pearls? I need to clutch my pearls. Jesus Christ, you what do you mean? I had to go home and laugh about that shit Bruh. because I was like, that's my friend. You know, girl, <laughs> you're my friend now because for to set you up like that and your ass thinking it's one thing and it was just like. I sure did. Michelle, she had, when I had to put the DVDs and you turned around and she was already laying on the bed. Yo. <laughs> Yo, fuck my whole game up. I thank God I was like, like my my tutelage was working because that shit on a normal date my shit would just like yeah, yeah. like oh, you nigga, really yeah. been fucked up there. Yeah, that shit would have mentally <laughs> fucked my game up. I would have been like, wait a minute, she, how often does she do this? Like if I'd have let them thoughts start creeping in, I, who who is this woman? How? Wait a minute. Stop. I, is she the spider or am I the no. spider? What, what is no. happening? You know sure what it is. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. I swear. I thought that was the funniest, but I yeah, tell you, she got I have me, some boy. friends that ain't shit, boy. She got but me. We are who we are. Yeah, man. Mm, mm, All mm. these years later. Right. Like, I'm <laughs> she you, got, like, she got the ring around the neck. Ugh. That's a damn shame, but she's happy, so yeah. hey, that's all that matters. Y'all is Yeah. Oh man. boy, you say she got your ass and now oh, you she got me. look yep. <laughs> out of all that plan you did and all that, think you 
you're gonna be one step ahead of the game. You had somebody if that was really three steps just, behind. If that was just triggered you like damn, somebody done beat me to the game. Yeah. Like it was it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it's like you don't oh, man. Man. <laughs> It's something when you reflect when you old and be like, right. you <laughs> think you so cool. You think you so slick. And you get that one. And it's like, that yo, one. she got your ass. And it was like, you know, and I blame it on a lot of things. You know, I was out of practice. I was this. I was oh, two you, marriages in. Really? You know, I, you know. I tried to look for excuses of how I got got. I'm no. like, you know what? And maybe because I wasn't on my game, and, and it's like. It was then looking back now, it's like, it just nah, nigga, I just, yep, you just, I got got. got. Yeah, you had something. It was my turn. Triggered you in a way that you was not prepared for. I was and ill prepared. Was like, damn, Ill-prepared. she beat me in my own game, and sure she did. played me like that. Like she sure shaked your ass all the way. All the I way. love my friend. You tell her I said that. Like there would have been a problem if she would have, like if I didn't perform. Oh, and she'd have been like, oh, and my I, friend, I, oh, I call know you. How she be so cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know how cutthroat she be like, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll call you. I, and that one, when she say that, you will never get that phone call. You dog. see what I'm saying? And I know it wouldn't have came down because I did that shit. <laughs> so I'd have been like, <laughs> I'd have, I'd have been oh, doing the God. brother bite lit like, mm, mm, hey man, mm. you know you brought me to you. I know where you live. Like you can't. You can't do that to me. Man. Then I would have been the, the the CNIB. I would have been the crazy nigga in the bushes. Yeah. Because I would have been like, oh, she just thinks she just going to come outside and yeah. just go get groceries. Yeah. She just going to yeah. walk outside like like I ain't out here. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was, that was mm-hmm. something, boy. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that was something. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, man. It take that but, one person that... Um, that go the extra mile to get that attention, and I yeah. think that's what um, <laughs> sparks it all. Cause that was yeah. that. I promise you, I wasn't expecting for you to say what you said <laughs> when you said how she did you, and you was like, "What?" <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to happen. I, I thought she was I just gonna be another notch in the belt. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna be a notch in her belt. <laughs> she got me, man. Oh, that was so God. disrespectful to my ego. But, but, <laughs> just, but look at where your ego is now, uh, because yeah. now yeah. she got you where yeah. you're. Yeah. Oh, you absolutely. Ain't, you ain't that. You ain't with the head man in charge. She oh, yeah. was. She yeah. she got you from the beginning. I, I wouldn't change any of that for the world because I, I like I said, I've been married twice mm-hmm. before her, and <laughs> since then it's like. Totally different. Yeah, neither of the other two, they were nowhere near my match. Mm-hmm. They were nowhere near my equal, either intellectually or at the time, um, physically. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I was throwing these bitches from ceilings, ceiling fans, man. I was throwing from one dresser to the other. Like, I, I had minds and bodies blown. Like, I was leaving carcasses. Like, I was, I was destroying stuff. <laughs> Like I was gonna pat my own <coughs> pat my own back, man. I was yeah, telling you, I was good at self. it. I was okay. good at it. Mm-mm. I was good. I had the broads in my bushes, banging on my window, yelling my name in my apartment complex because I ain't answering the door. Like I was killing. Mm-mm. I had them passing out, which I was proud of. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I I knew. So so when it got flipped on me, it was just like, mm. well, I got to keep this one because I don't. I don't understand this. You've never been challenged. Never. You never had nobody to challenge that that stamina that you right. had. You right. already had it already, you know. Yeah. You knew. And that's what gets you. Yep. When you get that one to break all barriers, you be like this, damn, where the fuck you come from? Like I tell you. I was, I was up here for a long time. Now you done broke me down here. I'm like, telling you. Mm-hmm. And I love it to death. We, we fight like the damn dickens, boy, because we're both alphas, and we we oh, just, we fight over every fucking thing. That's but a, it's I like, don't understand. But it's a good fight. It's not like a bad a fight. fight. I can't stand fighting with that. <laughs> I 
can't stand fight with her ass. I, it bothers me. It does. What? But I, I ain't going nowhere. And I, I know I ain't going nowhere. But it's just like... Petty fighting. God, why won't you just do what I want you to do? And she do the same thing. It's not just me. Because I see it in her face. It's just like, why don't you just shut up and do what I want you to do? But So why don't y'all? Because y'all don't want to be we both stubborn and we both, we both yes. alphas. And we okay. both know that the day that we surrender the fight is the day that the other one sees weakness. <laughs> and I feel less than, and, and less than and it's like, nah, big, now, you'll never be the up hand right, and all that. Right. Oh my God. And now it's one out of two things that happen. Either I'm going to walk all over you from now on, mm. or I'm going to see you as lesser a person and you're just not what I need at this point. It kind of feels like that. Yeah. Like, even though we both, we can't stand the fact that we fight, but we do. But do why do over I, dumb shit. That, like, it, oh. That's a pet peeve for me. I am, I, I just can't do the arguing. I don't know, because I don't, like I said, I don't play fair when it comes to arguing. So, mm-hmm. if, we, if you have a problem, just come to me and just kind of talk to me. It's the same way you have to do it. And you come to me and we can just talk. But arguing, I shut down real quick. Like, once you start getting loud and all that, look, I promise you, I will flip the script so fast. Like, I'm not, at this point, now I'm defensive. Right. Now I'm ready right. to just say, I wait for trigger words. And whenever that trigger <laughs> word comes, bitch, I, I, what the fuck you? You know, oh, I'm on that level. God. And yeah. it's like, I don't like that. Like, I hate being, because now... Now I have to find out how to calm myself down. I don't want to say I'm sorry because you got everything you deserve. And they be like, you ain't had to say that. Well, bitch, you ain't had to come and be like that. Mm. And now I don't know how to tone it down because you got me out of my get off that ledge. Uh-huh. Okay, it's, it's, it's hard. That's why I don't like to do it. Yeah. Mm-mm. And I get that. And see, our, our issue is, at least from my perspective, my standpoint, because I, I understand her now, but I can't fully speak for her. It, it just seems like <laughs> it's so many arguments where it's like it just seems like she wants to fight like she like I know when we first got together she had this mentality that um, a good fight would lead to makeup sex like we've had that discussion from when we were younger so I think some of that's still in there because it's funny so you don't do it? Or y'all just so mad and worked up that y'all ain't even trying to do yeah, that? We too old for that. Like, too, How? No, like, you're I don't, not. No, like, you're not. Yes, yes. Why? It's y'all okay. Even, I don't, I don't. Yeah, yo, I'm too old. Me. I'm too old and too surly to be out here grunts fucking. Like, I don't, I get mad. And when I get mad, I hold the grunge. And I don't, I don't even want to be bothered. Like, get the fuck away from me. At this point, I'm I'm better. I feel better walking around the house for a week and a half not saying shit to no fucking body. I'd rather do that. Like, just, really? oh, you know what? I'm so mad. Get naked. I want to, no, fuck that, man. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the flip me? side Are of being serious? with somebody so long that you know them because it's like bitch I know what you're doing and I don't fucking like it and I'm not gonna give you what you want because I know why you're doing it really? and I'm not gonna yeah it's it's like that like for instance like some fights it'll be literally um it'll be some <laughs> some silly shit yeah. like we'll be watching what TV right we'll be watching TV and. You know, she likes the drama shows. Mm-hmm. Like the Real Housewives of whoever. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mm-hmm. even matter. So, we'll, I don't, it's not my thing, mm-hmm. but I know she enjoys it. Take so, it. I'll sit down and I'll watch it with her. Mm-hmm. You know, she'll do that with my shows, but that's another story. But, so I'll sit down and I'll be like, I won't change the channel. I don't huff and puff. I'm like, okay, she's she's got the big TV. Mm-hmm. So, I'll sit next to her and I'll watch. And then, something happened on this show and I'm watching. I'm like... <laughs> And I'm like, oh, I so imagine. now I'm in it. I'm like, <laughs> why the fuck would Chantel do that shit? That's fucking. Are you the kind of Chantel? So yeah, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> you see, that's the type of shit. You know what? She should slap the shit out of her. Oh, you that, see, that's now you voicing your opinion. Well, right, right, right. I'm voicing oh. my opinion, right? Because I'm, 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 I'm in it. 
Ooh, I'm in it. I am like one screen away from being on the beach with these broads. While oh, they, man. Well, and you know, well, I feel like yeah, you should. Yeah. And I'm like, girl, yeah, you should slap the shit out of her because she was wrong. And, she was wrong. Mm. So we'll be watching, right? So now I'm vested in the show. And then my <laughs> wife will do that. She'll be like, uh uh-uh. uh. No, she didn't. I know she did not say that. So I'm thinking the same thing. I'm like, can you really believe she said that? My wife had just made the comment. I can't believe she said that. Uh-huh. I agree with her. Mm-hmm. Can you believe she said that? Well, Bear, you just don't get it. What do you mean I don't get it? I was agreeing with you. No, see, you don't understand what's happening. <laughs> oh. Now the argument. Now, because now the logic kicks in. I'm like... How do I understand? Like, right, aren't we watching, watching the same like, thing? Right, and now you're... Oh, see, you just don't get it. Okay, now you're insulting my intelligence because now you're trying to say that I can't understand what I'm seeing. So now and here you it goes. got mad. Right. Because she just said, so, oh, y'all are so petty. Y'all are so petty. And now we in the, we in, we in the doggone living room yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it done changed. We ain't even talk about this no more. It done deflected. And now we're talking about stuff in the kitchen and what you always do and what you don't <laughs> never do. Like, it went, the show done went off. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We did what we supposed to do. Like, we out. Let them have their chili on. Like, that is ridiculous. Y'all done let a show trigger y'all. And now y'all, the show off. It done did what it had to do. And y'all in there going at it over. And I bet y'all sat down and said, damn. I can't believe we arguing about this. Nope. We don't never get to that level. That's the problem. Because, see, the TV would go to the resume or delete, like the delete function. Mm-hmm. When you after the show's over, it didn't sit there so long that the screensaver come on, and we be looking at like Milano, Italy. We be looking at the pictures from all these places and shit, cause we arguing. <laughs> we done been arguing for an hour. The show been on for forty five minutes. We arguing for a whole hour. B. And then once we finish arguing, it turns into, you know what? It's whatever, man. All right, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever. All right, you win. You win. All right, whatever. You win. All right, you got it. Didn't I just concede? I just gave you the point. You win. Why are you still arguing? Don't tell me when I can argue. I still got stuff to say. Why you still got stuff to say? We already finished arguing. Now we argue about arguing. We literally oh argue about arguing. God, I'm glad I can't do this. You know what I'm saying? That and is... we both, we do it to each other. It's not but, like she do it to know, me and I'm innocent. Because I do the same shit to her. Because when I get by, I do the same shit. I'll come right. back and be like, you know when you said that, that didn't make sense. She like, we are, I already said I'm sorry. Hey, man, first of all, just because you said you're sorry mm-hmm. don't mean that it's over. Mm-hmm. And then I, I'm, I'm the analogy God. I'm like Dion King. I'm analogy God Because I'm quick to say some shit like I, My favorite one to go to Is if she says she concedes Or if um, she apologizes Or something like that I'm quick to bring up Hey, if somebody punched you in your face mm-hmm. And then turn around and said that they sorry Does the pain go away? Hell no Exactly So don't sit here and tell me you sorry And then expect me to shut up Just because you said you sorry Man, it still hurt so I still no, got something to say, no, and she be like, "Because so petty. It, it is. It, it's so. It's it's so. But it's so cute because I, when you when it ain't I cute hear that moment. No, it's that moment because I'm telling. I'm not an argumentative this type of person. So uh-huh. when I hear people go back and forth. To me, I be like that. Fuck you, bitch. I'm telling. I go. I be. I get so mad. I will leave. I don't have to. I. I can't. Yeah. Be, I was just shut down. Like I will let you just run your mouth. And like I said, this is the trigger word. That's right. the only thing I'm missing for. And if you don't do that, I, I can't do the back and forth. It is is my but I be amazed when I hear couples say, Yeah, we do this. I mean draw out arguments, but I think it's cute because it shows the passion in your relationship yeah. Yeah. and the love and the connection yeah. that you have. So it 
it's it's on another level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so it's 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 cute to me when I see y'all. Yeah, y'all might have to say something that more. But I think it, it, no, it's I'm not bad as no, shit. it's not cute, but the fact that y'all be so intense and mm-hmm. it's not to the point where and you don't want to go to bed. Fuck you, bitch. I'm leaving it. It's not on that level, right. but you still have that connection either way. Yeah. So it's not too intense where I'm, you know, oh, that, that's the final straw. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's just a little thing that y'all still have your own personal um, feelings towards things. We do. And stuff. And I think it's just cute. You know, I just. Shit, yeah, I mean, don't be cute minute. then because y'all be going for the. We I do. Just, I just, I just, I just, I'm just, I, I don't know. Me being argumentative, I promise you, it is. I, I don't know how. I have tried to argue. I don't even care how I tried, but I've been in arguments and it don't work for me because I'm telling you, I shut down. I shut down so fast and now I'm looking for words. Like, mm. I don't even give a fuck what the whole thing was like. No, bitch, this is what you're not gonna do <laughs> and we can be on a whole nother level. But it takes more than that, yeah. I see now. You know, I'm mm-hmm. learning, you know, I ain't married no more, but this is what I did in my marriage, but mm-hmm. it was. It just it's just cute to me to see that that you know everything don't have to involve you just walking off and walking away. You know, if y'all can just still communicate and it's still cordial to where y'all not like fighting and stuff like that, it, it's manageable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it it can work, but I'm yeah. I'm not like that. See, I don't know, don't do that. Because y'all even know what you think no. But did I say so no, 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 my whole right. mind frame? But it builds y'all relationship because even though y'all agree to disagree, y'all still are there to form that family bond because yeah. y'all still have other connections along that and it's nothing else. You know, it's just petty stuff that y'all fuss about. Petty stuff like yeah. you know. But yeah, she she's headstrong. Mm-hmm. Gemini's are very headstrong, you know, so I get it, but I think it's cute. I think it's really cute that, um, well, I mean, I'm coming from on a person on the outside, <laughs> I, I hear you. you know, looking at you. you know, to me, yeah, the other me be like, man, fuck that motherfucker, like, bitch, you know, <laughs> that would be me, and it's like, I can't be like that, yeah. you know, I have to. Learn to kind of like, all right, Michelle, it's just an argument, and you know, it might not be every day, but I can't do the every day. I, I promise you, that's like a, I'm not arguing every day, bitch. I, if we can't just sit down and like give me a break, let me have time to think about it, you think about it, and then we come together. I'm at that level when it comes to argument, mm-hmm. but I promise you, that yelling and going back and forth, I'm, I, I just don't know how to do it. I, 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 it's not in me anymore because it's gonna go left, and I promise you, I'm you. I'll be dead. They probably just say, "Bitch, you said what about my mama?" <laughs> they read it. What about my child? Yeah, I brought the baby in and everything. Yeah, fuck that baby leg. Uh, I mean, I would, I would want to do so many things to just really get you mad uh-huh. and just want to fight. Like, fight me then. Like, you know, but I ain't trying to fight. But that's how bad my arguments would go, and I don't like that. Mm. So I try to stay off that level, like, completely. Like, don't let me go there. So mm. I'm very, like, I will be submissive. I will. I would just like I said, wait for certain things, and if I see if it's getting out of hand, I will walk away. But I just can't do the argument, and not not over something that we gonna be fucking tonight. So this, you know what I'm saying? We arguing over this. Mm, is it gonna be intense fucking, or is it we gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, fuck, fuck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna be doing later on? Cause oh, we gonna be mad, can't talk, and I don't want to go to bed mad with my spouse. Like, I used to tell my dude, like, I don't want to be mad. Like, if mm. I can't lay there and you mad at me and we, like, back to back. No. I like to cuddle. I might be a hard person. I might have that little hard. It's ex- but I'm a very sensitive person. I love mm. that. I love to be baby. Mm. I love, I love that, you know. But it has to come from a man that's genuine about it. Yeah. You know, just don't be like, oh. You be alright. <laughs> Get over it. No, what? 
I'm a little more sensitive to that, you know, but I don't know. It's just fascinating, but. See, I wish we had that. We. <laughs> Y'all know? We don't. We, no. See, his, the, the thing with us, man, we. Stubborn. Oh, man. Yeah, we're, we're so yeah. stubborn. It's crazy, too, because it's, it's, you should not. I mean, I know the Bible and all these other books mm. always talk about equally yoked and all that mm. stuff, but there got to be a rule against it. <laughs> like, you should not find yourself so much in somebody else and be with that type of person. Like, I know there's there's a, a old saying that there's two different types of... Uh, I forget what type of bird. I don't know if it was a pigeon, an eagle, or something like that. Mm -hmm. But there's two different type of personality traits that's in a bird. Mm -hmm. One's called a low diver and one's a high diver. Mm -hmm. And basically, there's these. It's a specific bird in nature that uh, when they when they they get together and these birds they 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 link up and they they pick partners for life. Mm -hmm. So uh, they do their dance and stuff, and in the sky. They link claws. I think I've seen that, and they do. This and they they, thing. they do uh -huh. the spin, and then um, to basically uh, secure the bond, they they basically nose dive together into a point, and then they let go, uh -huh. and then when they land, they're pretty much that's like their marriage. They're like made it for life. Uh -huh. Well, if you get a low diver, if you get a low diver and a high diver then you have a, a successful maiden because the high diver is going to be ready to let go a little bit sooner mm -hmm. so that both of them will survive. Okay. But if you get two low divers, mm -hmm. they'll end up crashing into the ground because both of them will go all the way to the ground ain't and not let go. Ain't nobody with a big. Nobody willing to big. Yeah. And okay. high divers, they don't stay, they don't hold on together long enough to, to make that bond. Right. So you got to have that, that right mix. Mm -hmm. And... Me and this, <laughs> me, me and her, we're, we're too low dollars. Like we, we are so. Now here's the thing. Um, like I said, compared to my ex-wives and her, like they, there's there's no comparison. Like she makes up so many good attributes that the other ones can't even hold a stick to. Okay. Um, but. We are so much alike that it's like it's literally like being in a relationship with yourself. She's and a Libra and you're a Scorpio. Gemini. No, Gemini. A Libra. But, but that's a good combination. Yeah, but remember, Gemini's a wishy-washy and we can flip. Yeah, we so, we have two different sides. We definitely can bend and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. it still should be compatible. Well, uh, to a certain extent, and it is, it is. Mm -hmm. But there's also a, it's it's. I I think the only issue of concern is she is a a dominant type of person. Now she is an alpha female through and through. She yeah. knows where her way is, mm -hmm. and she's a control hog. She's like, I want it done my way. I know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Let me do it. Just everybody get in line. And she's used to everybody in her life and family doing it her way. And <laughs> yeah. so am I. <laughs> so that's where you get the problem. That's where that line is. That's, okay, that's, that's the it. fundamental flaw yeah. in our relationship. Because yeah. I look at it. Um, like my mother would tell you, she named me the way my name is. Uh, for you guys out there who know my name, you mm -hmm. know why, you know. Mm -hmm. So she named me because she wanted to make sure that I was going to be a leader. Mm -hmm. So she gave me that name uh -huh. to start me off with a leadership name. Okay. And I'm here to say I believe it worked because I'm not good at following. I'm not. Yeah. I, I'm great at being part of a team. Like, if there's a goal and we yeah, gotta yeah. figure out how to. That's me. I can yeah. do that. Uh -huh. But as far as me just being told what to do, mm. and then I know it's a better way, I'm like. Right. That. Ooh. I'm like, nah. let me. Well, y'all do that. I'm gonna do this. Right. You know. Right. I'm. I'm definitely more of a. 
I'm, I've never been a follower. Right. If I'm going to do something, I don't care how somebody else feel. If I want to do it, I'll do it. Right. But if I want to do it, no, I'm good. I, I sit over here. I don't, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So when we get together, it's, you know, she wants things done her way, mm-hmm. and I want things done my way. Mm-hmm. And it's, it'd be fun if we can just get over the hump and realize, you know, sometimes you leave, mm-hmm. and sometimes I leave. But it doesn't always work out that way. It works out to, okay, sometimes you lead. Hey, bitch, you been we leading way too long. It's my turn to damn lead. Wait, hold on. And then on her side, it turns into, oh, you're trying to change me. Why do you want me to change? Why well, I got to change? You ain't trying to change nothing. Uh, and it's like, wait a minute. We we just got to get this done. Like, we, we right. both can't do it. One of us got to do it. So, it, you say it's been about 10 years, 8 years, 9, uh, 10 years. Well, uh, we've been together since 2012. So it's been 12 years. 12 years. We got married in 2017. Okay, 2017. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were all on that boat in 2017. Yeah, I remember that boat. <laughs> yeah. You'll never ever let me forget about that boat. No! Uh, it's okay, that was a great yeah, time. For y'all. But I, yeah, I enjoy it for the most part. But I so crazy. wish I knew you Man. then like I know you now. I think it would have been me. so you much been better. Like, yeah, you've been like this. What was she on that? I, I sure would have. Fuck them. I've been talking shit. Where my whole girl at? like, come, like, fuck them up, man. You see them? That motherfucker, I promise you. That's a whole other story. I'm I, telling you. I don't, I promise you, but now I know more about cruises and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if I was it was still the doing another one, but I would I mean, we supposed to be going for my 50th. We're still saying that, but okay. I had, when I get her all the information, I still let y'all know, but we still plan to do that. But other than that, I don't know, man. Like y'all, <laughs> but it wasn't just y'all that ruined it. It was like I'd have been with so many other people, mm-hmm. and it was just like. But when I went with my last group, I mm-hmm. promise you, changed my mind. Yeah, it Fun, changed. Right? What? Yeah, man. I had my friend met her, and then I had my little significant other, mm-hmm. and it was just like. <sighs> Like this is what it's supposed this to be. Is what it was. Uh-huh. And then I got everything I was able to get on the boat. Mm-hmm. Legal and illegal. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like the kingpin on the boat. Look, mm-hmm. everybody like, what was she out there? Oh, y'all didn't get your, y'all didn't. Hold on, let me show y'all what I got. Just like this. <laughs> what? Oh man, when I tell you, I wow. was like. The coolest person on in that little set. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I was on it, but I like. But it was more. I'm more um, like a tomboy mm. because um, I never had a brother. Mm. I have one now, but he's a baby brother. I always wanted an older brother, so I cling more to guys, you know, because y'all are real. Y'all, mm. y'all don't sugarcoat. You know, some people do, but most guys, you are genuine. Mm-hmm. And I trust y'all opinion because you see it from the side that I can't see it from. You know, I like y'all different aspects. So I cling to it, but I'm bad, please. I was the life. I was, <laughs> oh, I was oh, we having, know. I was having fun. I don't care. Do, do we need me. to remind them? <laughs> the, the, Enjoy mm-hmm. because men are not like petty like females. You know, females yeah. can be so petty and so like, oh no, I don't want. Or, I don't worry about what it look like. I'm here to have a good time. I'm still gonna be me. Mm-hmm. Now, if you doing some shit that ain't gonna have you be who you are, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Just be you. That's on you. That's that's how I feel, yeah. and that's how I live life. You know. What you see is what you're gonna get. I don't mm-hmm. know how to be anything else. I kind of toned down my little backlash, but I'm, you still gonna get it. <laughs> but I will be nice about it. Yeah, but a little older in the game, so yeah, it slows down I'm a learning. little bit. Right, I'm mm-hmm. learning as I get older, but you still gonna get that mouth. Mm-hmm. But I know the perspective into it all. You know, mm-hmm. I know how to kind of like divide the lines and stuff like that. But man, please, y'all. I don't know. Y'all, y'all married people. Y'all kills me. <laughs> I'm learning though because I'm learning. That's my next thing. I say once I turn fifty, 
that's what I'm going to kind of like settle down and mm. you know find that one that can <laughs> let, let, the, <laughs> let the pride let it through one that make you sit down somewhere yeah and I don't mind sitting down they keep me but it, it has to be a certain order cause I know I'm very dominant but mm -hmm. if you can if they can be that one and like you know Michelle don't like you know, I can be sneaky. If you can kind of like cut those corners out and be like, you know, Michelle, but I don't mind. I get on my phone. I don't have to hide. Look, I don't. if they get my phone now, it might be a different story. Because <laughs> I don't delete anything. Yeah. Now, I, I, I'm I just, with you on that. But I don't like. I tell people keep it keep it reasonable. Don't I don't like sex pictures, naked pictures in my phone. I don't like that. Don't mm -hmm. send it, don't do that cuz mm -hmm. I have kids that might have my phone. I don't like stuff like that. So gotcha. you have to keep it definitely appropriate. Mm -hmm. But I don't, my phone got everything from 15 10 years ago <laughs> in it. Texas video, you know <laughs> stuff like that. So I'm not the one that's going to hide it like if right. you want it. Just be prepared. Hey. Just know it ain't had nothing to do with you. You go look and you go find it. Right, but I don't want to hide with my mate. I want to be right. open. I want to be transparent, and you know, I want us to be best friends more than anything. Mm. You know that you can really have that bond, and you know, just because if you don't have that connection, on top of everything else, it's not going to be, you know. But yeah. you have to learn to bend. We yeah. as women have to learn that, you know. Especially when you're dominant, you have to learn that they're not here to control you. They're just trying to show you a better way of things. And that's going to be my biggest thing in Lango. But I'm willing. Y'all give me hope. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that to a certain extent. But. <laughs> no, we're, we're great. We're, we're great. We just, like I said, we're both headstrong, alpha mm -hmm. type personalities. So, but it but it's funny. It, it works. Mm -hmm. Like, we will have knockdown, drag out arguments. Mm -hmm. Like, the kids know. And they don't even bother. They're just like, oh, you guys <laughs> argue all the time. And they just know it's us. But you can ask any of the kids or anything. Me and the wife have never, other than when, <laughs> other than when she had COVID. Oh, but outside separate. of that, mm -hmm. we have never slept, ever mm -hmm. slept under the same roof and slept in different beds. Oh, and we argue, good. we argue damn near every single day. Every day? Uh, almost. We, we've had, no, I, I got to take that back. Because we've had spells where we've gone... With no arguments. With no arguments. So and it was just that, like, how does that this do is weird. Do you realize we haven't argued in like three weeks? Wow. That's Maybe we turn the corner and then the next night we're right back at it. Like something will pop something up and so it's like. Petty. I, I think that's the part that I just be, you know, I was married, but we didn't argue. Like, I, we didn't argue like that, you know. Um, Y'all were high and low doves. No, like, uh, we didn't know because I wasn't that type of person. Like, right. I saw what, you know, I probably seen little things and we would talk about it. But as far as not my, my ex-husband, he was crazy. He was that defensive type. He was a little <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Definitely crazy. But mm -hmm. he didn't know how to handle me not arguing. Mm. You know, and that was the conflict because it was like you wanted to initiate the arguments, and mm. I'm like, mm -mm, I shut down, and then that's where like sometimes the physical part. You know, we don't mm. fall a couple of times. You put your hands on a couple of times. I was like, trust me, you didn't. No, I'm. Wow. He learned. Cause <laughs> my neighbor had to come and get us, wow. and she like, look, all, all, cause I know he was a guy. So mm -hmm. my thing was, if I can just hold you enough to somebody to just get us apart, I'll mm -hmm. leave. Okay. But I wouldn't let you go because mm -hmm. I know if I let you go, you gonna get me. <laughs> and it was like, I don't know, bitch. What's your anger get us right. do? A That's free shot not. to knock me out. <laughs> yeah, you missed the first time, bitch. That was your fault. But I promise you, I ain't gonna get another opportunity. So it was arguments like that that wow. I just didn't understand. Like you know, it didn't have to get to that. Part, part, but um, 
I don't know, now that I'm older, you know, I'm learning a little more. I want to do a little things differently now. Mm -hmm. And if it's just, you know, I don't know if it's the men that be more insecure. Because I know I'm not an insecure person. I'm not that. I'm not a jealous person. I don't even know why people be jealous in the world no more. That just is mind boggling. Mm -hmm. So it's like. I'm not going through phones. I'm not going through, right. you know, I've done that before. And it's like, if I did it, I won't tell you because I knew I shouldn't have done it. So it's stuff like that. Like, and women be so adamant. Oh, I'm going through clocking somebody. If you got to be that on somebody, why are you with them? Mm. Why? Yeah. You know, if you you don't trust them, you they, they two minutes late from, you know, coming in. And you like, <laughs> with two minutes, drop your draw. Let me smell you. <laughs> Smell I mean, under the I mean, right under the scene, I done heard so much, and it's just like, but I be so fascinated at the men that stays, and they be like, I love her though, and you know, I'm gonna make this. I, that's what fascinates me. Yeah, I'm one of those. That. I'm one of those. <laughs> but I just. I, but what is it like? I like to be fussed over. I like really? to be fussed over. I do. Like I, I, I do. I don't know what it is. I just. <laughs> I like you, you like know, that argument that love not not necessarily the argument and not not the the jealous side but mm. I love a territorial woman really? I love it and I I I carry a distinction between the two I always like to say jealous people blame territorial people know what's theirs you know what I'm saying so for me okay. like I like a woman who's territorial who doesn't like other people around sniffing around in her yard so it's quick to be like bitch that's mine get away from that <laughs> or you know if she sees really? something that you know would catch my eye she'll be like yeah okay yeah I know you like that type just let it stay at just like that type like really yeah I, I, I love that and coming from and it's all tied to baggage I mean right. we all know that all but right. coming from a relationship where you know, and I said this on a podcast before where one ex told me, you know, embarrassed me out there in public talking about if some woman who I had no attraction to whatsoever, if she wants you, she can have you. And, you know, this is my wife saying this in front of a whole bunch of people. It's like, word? So I'm disregarded like that? Like, I'm trash like that? So that's how you would feel if some say it like yeah, that? Yeah, because it's like, well, then what? You know, you're basically telling me that as a man, I should want to fight for you. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's, well, that's the, the understood premise of men mm -hmm. in a relationship. You should be willing to fight for your woman. You should be willing to defend and, and protect your woman and protect your interests when it comes to this woman. Mm -hmm. But then this woman comes off and is like, well, she wants you, she can have you. Like, nigga, I'm yesterday's newspaper? Like what the no. like that? But that's that's <laughs> that's, that's at the time. It. That's the way I took it, and I don't like that feeling. But I like the feeling where a woman's like, "Hey, where you at?" And I'm like, you know, even though I will be like, "Damn, you know where I'm at." Like, right. What? But the fact that you know I'm not out here. You know I'm not a cheater. You know I'm not out here. But I, it still to me is like you willing to make that fuss makes me feel like you know what you care enough to want to know where I'm at rather than you know we trains in the night and it's like you know what dude she ain't even realized that I ain't been in the house in a week like that's right. to me it's like that's the flip of what you're saying on your side mm -hmm. because if I could be in and out of the house and in and out in the streets mm -hmm. and you don't even notice then why am I here Yeah. because now it's yeah. like well, yeah you don't even notice that I'm not here? Like, make a little bit of fuss for me, man. Like, let me know that, yeah. man, I know you are at home at so-and-so. But I okay. keep thinking that's a little too much. Not for me. <laughs> not for me. I don't know me. because I'm the type of person that I'm not trying to clock, you know, if I, you know, like, me and a friend of mine, we are, I'm trying. I'm mm -hmm. trying. I think it's, I have to watch what I say because <laughs> <laughs> there's an edit button. Edit button. Don't worry about the, it. I got you. Um, 
commitment part for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to know how truly you are committed to me because mm -hmm. I know how I'm, I will be committed to you. Right. But I'm not a weak person. Mm -hmm. I'm very strong minded. So you have to be a little above me a little bit because I can I can do um a, you know what is it um how can I say it criticism or okay. like uh from my man like hey Michelle I need you to do this or whatever whatever okay. I can do it if okay. it's how you say it how you present it okay. I don't mind being there but it's the way that you have to say it right and I don't mind but it can be like you know I'm sensitive I'm sensitive and very headstrong and but I don't want you to just come at me like like um, you were serving or something like right you were like right. right because I know my role as a female like I love I'm telling you when I was dating my last friend for some years um, when he's coming to my house I would cook mm. he, I have food bath water ready I was that type of person like I love for him to know that hey when you came home it was nothing you had to do mm. I was already like like that in my marriage mm -hmm. and I love to cater you know and sometimes it's hard when you're dealing with a dominant man though yeah that was a challenge because the man I was dealing with he was very dominant you know mm -hmm. very independent he had everything set scheduled so it was a little you know but I knew how to you know kind of like slide on in there mm -hmm. like, I got this you know but I want to iron you know he like his shit iron I ain't do all that fuck shit <laughs> but you know I was not do all that yeah but, but now that I'm a little older now mm -hmm. and I want to satisfy him and it's like okay now I have to pick my game up mm -hmm. you know not not stepping out of me but if I want to make him really happy, I know the things that I need to do to make him happy. Yeah. Per se, and vice versa, and it's just it's it's a challenge. It's yeah. it's not easy, but no. the argument we've never argued, not one time. And I've been knowing him for about ten years. We was together for five or six years, but arguing is. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but arguing, I can't do the arguing. Like, never argue. We we had disagreements and we talked about them, but like far as oh this that, I can't tell you. The last time I argued like that was with my ex husband, and that was mm -hmm. in 20, 2005. Wow. That's a, well, you know, I had moments with people, but not like right. no, not like no mm -mm. knockdown drag outs. Mm -mm. I just don't know how to do cops, that. Cause somebody, right. I don't, somebody go to jail tonight. The cops ain't coming to my house, dude. You a die first for a cop coming. <laughs> I don't do police at my house. I'm not that type of person that be like, no, either you leave, you gonna leave, you, you gonna leave, mm. or I'll leave. Like mm. I don't, I don't do that. You mm. know, there's certain things I, I, cause I don't want my kids to see it. Yeah. I don't want that that energy. I, they'll tell you they never heard me argue with Nan dude in my house. Like if we gotta argue in my house, bitch, we got a problem. Cause yeah. my kids don't need to hear that. Yeah. I grew up with that when I was little. I didn't want my kids to see that stuff, so I'm very protective about the energy that's in my house. So, Will Smith, he used to say the same shit. What he did? You see what that led to? Well, yeah, that you didn't it. know that? He had that same mentality. Oh, my parents used to yell and argue mm -hmm. all the time. And we did. So we are not gonna argue. Mm -mm. That's what he told Jada Pink. We're not gonna argue. Well, she going? said, "Bet." Uh huh. Oh, and all right, of a yeah. sudden, now she yeah. entangled in shit. Well, and now this nigga did. run up on stage slapping niggas. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, that's, you, well, you that's snap, a whole other level. You don't argue. Yeah, but, you, but no, it's communication. No, I'm though. just playing. Though, right, right, I hear you. Get it? Because it, it can build up. You have to be like this. What the fuck you? Oh, I gotta pull my knife out my purse. I don't wanna do that. I ain't trying to go to jail. I'm not. But I get it. But yeah. arguing for real, for real, for me. I just can't do it in my home. Yeah. I, I definitely want to keep that. Like I said, I deal with so much outside of the world and all that. When I go home, that's my domain. 
like that's my peace my comfort I can sit there all day and if I choose to talk to people I can if I don't have to I don't answer my phone so that's another thing I think about if I want to be in a relationship but I just tune it out because I'm telling you I don't when I go home I'm not afraid mm. I'm not right. afraid. Sure. I'm not scared. Right. You know, I don't. It's no fear. Right. And no I anxiety. Like that. No. None of oh, that. It's I don't like, want to go home. Right. None of I that. Don't, right. And the only time I felt like that was when I was married one time, mm -hmm. and we was going through things, and it was just to the point where like I didn't want to go home right. anymore. I'd rather stay out here. And right. Do just ride around in circles. I right. burn some gas before I go home For until y'all sleep. Y'all need some overtime. I, right. I, I stay at work. <laughs> and I didn't want mm -hmm. my life to be like that. Right. And that's how I was at one point. So now that I'm older now, I know how to keep all that. Like, you just, I, I just don't have time for that type of energy. Like, I think we, as far as, far as us being adults and older, mm -hmm. we got to find another way to communicate than just, <laughs> you know, yeah. who's right and who's wrong. And everybody want to be right, but you have to sit back and deflect on what you did to make right. it right or wrong. And that's the level that I'm on. Because I can tell, I can't do the argument. I don't even know. I'd be amazed at how y'all put up with shit. <laughs> I'll be sitting by here like this. Bitch, I would have been gone. Like, what you <laughs> say that to me? Fuck you, bitch. Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that would be me and my mentality. Like, mm -hmm. what? But see, I, so I gotta ask you, though. So, with, with, with that understanding, mm -hmm. um, because nobody's exactly alike mm -hmm. but suppose you get with somebody and they fit the bill or everything else mm -hmm. but there's just there's something that you do or something about you that happened to annoy them and they're reaching out to try to communicate and it's turning into an argument like you know what I'm saying and not right. not the not right. the fight Right. But an argument, mm -hmm. and and you can sense it because you're older now. You know when an argument. You mm -hmm. know what? This is gonna be one of those that's gonna be like three hours. We still gonna be on this shit. Mm -hmm. This ain't gonna be no easy. Let's just have a disagreement and walk off. Mm -hmm. So, like, what would you do in this situation? At the age and the 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 mentality that you are now. So, if you're with somebody mm -hmm. and it's like they're they're not letting it go. Like, they might not be pushing that trigger button to get you to, like, get on the ledge. Yeah, right. But it's like, <clears throat> like, Michelle K., I, I understand you don't want to argue, but for me, I really need you to get this through. And for you, for some reason, you're like, I hear you saying that, but it's not getting through. Like, it, like we, what, what, what would you do in that, that type of situation? I would have situation? to really sit back and analyze on what they're really trying to find out what they want me to be into. Mm. If it don't make sense, I'm, I can't. If it don't make sense and I'm lying to myself, mm -hmm. I don't know how to sugarcoat that anymore. Right. I'm not going to lie to myself. And I don't want you to be lying to yourself. You have to really sit down. People have to really sit down and think about stuff within their self. Mm. What can I do? to defuse the situation. What am I doing that this other person, you know, because we're two different people. We mm -hmm. two different people try to cohabitate in one unity. Absolutely. So, everybody's not going to always be right. Mm -hmm. Everybody's not going to always be wrong. But, you have to sometimes sit back and say, okay, am I being too insensitive to the person's feelings? Mm -hmm. Am I overlooking what they're feeling? And I have to think about that. And if it's a common ground that I can meet, then I'll do it. But if it's not, I don't know what to say to you. Like, you either get out of your feelings or you really need to reevaluate yourself. Because I did all the soul searching you, you on my go, end. Don't trigger me, but I'm right. trigger you. You need to get out your feelings, right. grown ass man, because I don't know what else to tell you. And that's exactly how I feel about it. I mm. honestly will feel like. Because obviously, you're too headstrong that you're not going to even try to figure out is there an alternative. Mm. I'm headstrong, but I'm trying to I'm willing to bend and see where we can come to. I'm not going to argue with you. I, I, if, if it's something that we just can't work out, then we have to figure out another situation. But me trying to bend, I'm not going to bend who I am as a person. I'm not going to let you bend as to who you are as a person. Everybody has their own back. Because when you get in relationships and you start getting married, you lose something about yeah. yourself. Yeah. You lose a lot of things, you know, yeah. if you don't hold strong to them. 
And then it's like now when you in there, you feel like, oh man, I don't even know who I am anymore. What the hell? When did you decide that? Ten years ago? <laughs> Five years ago? Or just now? Like, well, now that's you when got, you want it back. Right. <laughs> and now it's like you so far in it, like you don't even know what to do. I don't want to be like that. I mm -hmm. want to be able to defuse the situation. Let's work it out. I can bend if it makes sense. If it don't make sense, we can compromise. Mm -hmm. But for you to just sit here and just be, I'm not going to be bad all my life anymore. I don't, mm -hmm. I want, to me, when I said I turned 50, that's when I said I actually settled out. <laughs> <laughs> and get my kids Still going to push it off. Right, you know. <laughs> when I get there, that's what I'm doing. Right, that's what I get, you well, know. I because, still ain't shit now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's still, I got a couple more months before I get there. But I don't, when I get to a certain age, mm -hmm. I want to be on a level where I can being and compromise and I still don't lose who I am as a person. Okay. I want to be still me, but I have to think about somebody else as well and bring them into it. And we just have to work it out. But then that's also who you choose to pick. Right? Mm, that's yeah. another thing. You know, you have to <sighs> yeah. that's the hard. So that's why I'm just taking my time. But now <laughs> does does every argument gotta be to the the final level of you losing yourself? I mean, can you sometimes just lose an argument without losing yourself? I mean, you gotta ask the person you with because... Well, I'm asking you well, if, if me, you're no. in a relationship. Can, no. you, can you lose an argument? Not just, mm -hmm. not just agree to disagree. But can you... <laughs> yeah, now we getting somewhere. Can you lose an argument and not lose yourself, Michelle Gatt? That's a good one. Yeah, right? Because <laughs> you can't lose an argument. And when you lose an argument, you do lose a little sense of yourself. Dude. And be like, okay, is this going to be, is this going to hurt me in the end? <laughs> what, what part of me did I lose? The sensitivity? The little, the little strong person? Wait, I need to freak out. But, but yeah, but um, that would be a good question because you don't want to lose any part of you. But I think... Sometimes you will bend, maybe, but you still got to be true to yourself, though. It's I don't okay. know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's why you ain't going to be shit to bend. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why I'm, that's why I'm by myself. I'm learning from y'all. I'm, I'm trying to get some understanding through the married people because me as being single, I can't be one-sided. Mm -hmm. Because I know me And if right. I want to deal with it I just rub it by myself I'm happier dealing with the nonsense Than I can be dealing with nonsense yeah. I don't want to I don't want to like do that. it And I'm so headstrong And I think That's a That's a Maybe a little A lot of men don't like that strong minded You know It's Dominant I don't ask for help I'm not t I'm very Financial stable, like you can't come in unless you just. If you want to do something for me, it'll be something that you just do and not tell me. Like, hey, you know, I'm gonna come. I see this thing going on in your house. I'm gonna fix it. But if you ask me, I'll never tell you to do it. Okay. I, that's that's. I would like no. I'm not. I'm not that type of person. You have to. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff I had to work with. I get it. <laughs> but, I, no, I, so. From a male's uh, point of view, mm -hmm. and just to try to give you a little bit of game. Mm -hmm. So, I think part of the problem would come in is, and I see this a lot with my wife as well, and you know, you two are birds of a feather, mm -hmm. so that, that explains, <laughs> just when you said that, it's like, <laughs> like the, the light went off, it's like, sh shit, like I... Shit, I could have had years of no arguments if I would have just known that from this. Ooh, ooh. But you guys seem to tie mm -hmm. your your value and your worth and who you are into like like we just said, literally winning or losing okay. arguments. And it's okay. that that's the part that that I would really like to delve into and and. Mm -hmm you know get to try to know and understand like why is it so important to you guys as strong black women that who i am 
who I'm defined by uh -huh. is wrapped into whether or not I can win or lose an argument with my mate or this this black man or this whoever that's across from me. Uh -huh. Like, why is it so hard for you guys to just, hey, you know what? Me and you are arguing about this. Uh -huh. I lost this one, but I'm still me. Like, why is that difficult? <laughs> like, because as men, we do that shit all the fucking time. <laughs> Because we're what? sensitive. We have a right. little sensitive side that, you know, we'll take it, even though we have this hard exterior up, uh -huh. we're still more, we're I, still I more sensitive. That, but yeah. why does it, why does it automatically result in you losing you because you've lost an argument? Because if I, won't say just that one argument. It might have been several things that build up to that argument so right, you start right. to lose yourself because it's feel like we've been more to accommodate the man because okay. you love that person that much that you wouldn't have just say, you know what, okay, I overlooked that. I know that's what they're doing uh, and stuff like that. So okay. I'ma just, you know, I'm not gonna make that a big deal because I love them. Okay. And when you keep doing that over and over time and you still saying the disrespect and they're not honoring everything, it's like now I was living for you and doing all this for you. Now I don't even know who I am anymore as a person because okay. now who am I? I done gave you all my feelings. I done put my feelings to the side. I didn't pass the uh what is it? Pac pacify your little feelings and mm -hmm. you know, kind of over, you know, blame everything like, oh, it's just this instead of just uh -huh. saying that Made this what it was. Right, right. You know, now I don't know who I am anymore because now I, I've done everything for you and that's how I see it. But now mm -hmm. when you get older, you have to be like, you know, when I got out of marriage, it was like, dang. Shit, I got a voice now. Mm -hmm. You know, I can. I don't have somebody saying because my husband at the time he was the type of person that if I didn't agree with him or had even if it was a lie, and I'm not the type of person if it's a lie, I can't. I was like, why? Yeah, you, you wear it right you on your know, face. Like, no, like, mm -mm, right, and that was right, and that was a thing uh -huh. that you ain't got my back as a woman and stuff like that, and mm. I'm like. Because you was lying. <laughs> you know, why? It doesn't matter and stuff like So you tend to uh, be okay. in that area. And then yep, it's yep. like, you know, when you know the truth is the truth, but that, the lies over here, but you want to rock for your man and stuff. And then when people say, you know he lying. Yeah, I know the motherfucker. But I can't tell him that because it's going to be a whole argument at home. So right. it became like that. That's mm. why you lose yourself because okay. you pacify him more and you you suppress your real feelings because you don't want to feel like you overdoing your man because the insecurities mm. of that dominance, you know, you not having my back, you on everybody else's team. I don't pick, pick and choose sides. Mm. I've never been that type of person. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Like, I don't know what you want me to do, any, anything in between that because mm. you're lying. Like, don't have me looking like a fool because you gonna look like a fool. <laughs> like I would no. I'm just letting like, you know why and I'll be telling him like why would you why would you do that lie? Like well you didn't have my back. Well bitch just tell the truth. <laughs> you know? And then be like, no, you supposed to have my back no matter what. No bitch, I'm not. And that's where the argument come in. Because mm. I won't I won't solidify your lie. Yeah. I'm not doing that. I have integrity. I have my own mind and stuff like that, and that's what they be wanting to do. So yep, it's yep. like, and that's how women tend to lose themselves into a man because they be so submissive to them and don't want to argue. Okay, well, I, okay, I let him do that because I know that's what they do, and you know it, but you allow it. Very, you know, very, very true. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, it's it's definitely men that are are the first ones. And pretty much the, the dominant ones to always talk about my ride or die. She mm. she got to be my mm. ride or die. She's my ride or mm -hmm. die. Which literally is what you're talking mm -hmm. about. Hey, mm -hmm. when I'm going down, we, we on this that. Titanic, bitch, I, when I open my eyes on the water, <laughs> I expect you to be underwater right with me. Like, like we together. Like we both going down. We together. Right, I'm right. Down. And that's, yep. that is a very male, male-minded thing. That's, mm -hmm. that's literally how... 
Like I think that exact same way. <laughs> like I get mad when it's like, yo, mm -hmm. I want you to be my ride mm -hmm. or die. Mm -hmm. Now I won't, I won't on purpose put my wife in a situation where it's like, hey, I'm bold faced lying. Mm -hmm. mm, lie with me. <laughs> like I right. won't do it on purpose. Right. But, but yeah. every so often. <laughs> You want them the to situation the might bit. come up where I need that. Right. Like if I don't want to go somewhere and I'm like, hey man, I wanted to be there, but my toe is messed up or my wife's ankle hurts. Like don't be sitting there looking like my ankle fine. Man, right. You that would be me. Ain't no you wrong. know what I'm saying? I mean, like, so. right. No. He, right. he didn't want to come. <laughs> like, he didn't want to come, but. I want to do it to where I make you look too bad. Right, right, But right. I'm not going to sugarcoat what the fuck you did because my family right. is my family and they will understand. They just not going to understand the bullshit. Right. But then, yeah, I, I, I get that. I <laughs> it's get that. hard to but think you, about it. Like, it's like, no, it's... it's <laughs> It's not even hard to think about. It's literally like I open it because, mm -hmm. see, from our from from a male's standpoint or a male's aspect, we're looking at it as y'all are just being stubborn just to be stubborn, mm -hmm. and it's not that. Mm -hmm. If if we look at what you guys are doing, mm -hmm. which you you keyed in on something that really like made it pop for me, which is, see, when guys argue, we argue the point. At hand, uh -huh. we we we're not even thinking about all the stuff that you just said. Uh -huh. You know, all these other arguments, all these other situations, uh -huh. all these other things that are still playing, so uh -huh. it's still there. And then you start thinking, oh, now he wants me to lie again. I just <laughs> did this before, yeah. and all that's in there, yeah. and it becomes very easy to lose yourself because uh -huh. you're like, you know what? Now that I reflect. Two years ago, five years ago, ten years ago, when I was with, before I got with him, I used to never lie about shit like this. Now, every other week, this nigga lying about something to somebody, and he want me to lie. And I've been lying for him all this time, and I'm starting to get tired of it. Whereas, as a guy, we're sitting there like, we ain't even thinking about all them other lies. Nigga, we just want you to lie today. <laughs> Fuck the, fuck the shit that you lied about yesterday. Yep. Today, I need you to lie about this today. Yes. Like, so I, I get where you're saying, like, mm -hmm. you can lose yourself mm -hmm. if you lose arguments because you're carrying the burden of all those other arguments where you have you have made concessions for the, mm -hmm. the person that you're with mm -hmm. just for the sake of avoiding arguments. Yeah. It's like, you know what? Yeah. He needs yeah. me to do this. Yeah. I'm not going to argue about it. I'm just mm -hmm. going to do it. And you, and you did that here. That. And you did it here. And, and you did it here. The more you do it, you're frustrated. Right. You're female. Right. Right. And, and then we mad. don't see that. You don't see it we don't because see it they, they're we, not saying nothing. Right. They're just holding it in. And then when it finally comes out, we're like, oh. bitch, what the fuck wrong with you? Oh, motherfucker. Let me why you, why you, why you put me out there like that. Yeah, and you ain't never used to put me out there mm -hmm. like that. Why yeah. you acting? They gonna throw that little scroll out. Uh huh. And it's like they won. And, and it's like yeah. you been keeping records like this. Yeah. Like you really been keeping track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get yeah. it. And I'm telling you, I I did that. I promise you, that was me and my marriage. Like I didn't even know who I was anymore as a person, and I knew I was a fun, happy person, but I wasn't happy. I was nasty at work. Mm -hmm. It changed every aspect of my life, mm -hmm. and I had to fight to get it back. With you know not being with somebody, I had to find out who I was. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. I had to stop lying to myself. I didn't want to lie to myself. I didn't want to sugarcoat anything. I had to be the realest person to myself yeah. before anybody else. Yeah. Because you're going to be the one to tell yourself, girl, look, now get your shit, you know. And that's how I had to do myself because mm -hmm. other than that, I would have been simple-minded. I would have been gullible. I would have been like that that person that was feeding for somebody to just give me, you know, that man be like, any man. I'm not doing that. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. So I had to really change my thought process, everything, mm -hmm. and really learn who I was as a person. It wasn't going to offend nobody. Right. It wasn't stepping on nobody's toes. But it was just me being real to me. 
and that's how I was able to move on. And I'm happy, like, man, please, being with somebody or not with somebody, I'm happy, but I know how to treat a man. I've been married before. I, I loved all of that, but I'm not going to just give it to you and you might not deserve it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm okay of just waiting. I'm not desperate, you know, or nothing like that, but I'm going to just wait. Mm -hmm. And when I give it to you, that's going to be the person who gets it all. And I will be submissive. I will be everything, but, you know. Right. And that's where it's important to mm -hmm. find the right men who understands mm -hmm. what you're giving mm -hmm. and is responsible with that. Mm -hmm. Because like like you like you just exposed, like you just put out there, an irresponsible man with that much responsibility mm -hmm. will cause a woman to turn around and start feeling like she's losing herself mm -hmm. because he's taking advantage of her willingness mm -hmm. to uh, submit to him, mm -hmm. but he's he's not he's not being responsible with that submission. Mm -hmm. He's just like, all right, well, I need you to just keep mm -hmm. doing that mm -hmm. so that I can still stay up on this pedestal. Yep. But at the same token, once you get to that threshold point where you're like, wait a minute, I've lost so much mm -hmm. of myself. Fuck this! I need to get myself back. And now then, the man is mad because right. now because he has no. Mm -mm. Wow! He's like, you over there doing this? No, like right. you took all my life out of me. Like you right. sucked the life. So it's gonna be going back to the mate of who you pick and choose. Right. Like you can't just keep selling for somebody because they look good. They do this. If it's just a temporary thing that they keep mm. doing and not a permanent thing, you have to look at yourself as how long do you want to deal with something like. Like that. I'm yeah. not looking for nothing temporarily. I want something forever. Like yeah. Yeah. 15, 20, 30 years in because I know my worth. Mm -hmm. But if you don't give me that mentality or you don't put that in my head of you just feeding me bullshit and you just want to be like oh girl, you just like the rest of the females, mm -hmm. I'm I'll be better off being by myself. Absolutely. Because you you want I want somebody to elevate my mentality you know we we can do it connectively i want to find a person that try that's on my level and that's up to me to figure out what's my level mm -hmm. what what am i willing to put up with and what i'm willing not to put up and it's not a lot no more <laughs> <laughs> It's not a lot at all. I'm not trying to deal with it because I see where I've been and where I can come from. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I, I don't accomplish so much by myself as a mm -hmm. single parent mm -hmm. that you have to be a little bit above what I want. You have to. Like, yeah. you can't be no crybaby. You have to be... You gotta be thick skinned. You have yeah. to know what your worth is. You have to know your value yeah. before we even go there. Because if you don't even have that concept yeah. under control, me coming in the picture, I run over you. Mm -hmm. And I don't want I want I want to be that submissive person. And I want that man to be that dominant person. Into us because I want that Let's man to be Let's use the word responsible. Huh? Let's use the word responsible. Responsible, for the okay. Man. Because see the dominant, see the dominant puts this black eye on it, and it it kind of makes women kind of feel like they're losing something. Okay. okay. And so now if he's responsible, mm -hmm. now it's like okay, if you're going to be submissive or you're going to allow yourself to be uh, catering or allow yourself to be open mm -hmm. and. And, and just be yourself with him, he has to be responsible with that responsibility. Okay. Instead of... Yeah, because... Um, you know, dominant. Because dominant yeah. is like... Yeah, you're over. Yeah. You're like... At least for a man, dominant... We dominant... When you hear dominant with a man, that means that we've... We've conquered something. We've controlled it. We've taken oh, over. Okay. So oh, yeah, yeah. Be real careful with that dominant okay. with us, yeah. because we dominate other men, or we dominate mm -hmm. our animals, or we dominate uh, in sports. Like that's mm -hmm. that's some that's part of our 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 um, what do you call it? our primitive nature mm -hmm. is for hunter gatherers for men to dominate whatever they do to okay. champion it. 
And we shouldn't be out here championing women anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, we should well, they, be. They head strong now. They're they're really coming out of the woodwork. Some, some. Yeah, but see, and that's the pro- that's the problem. Not that they're headstrong, but if men still have the mentality of dominating, if a woman is headstrong, that's just a bigger challenge. And then once you get into that challenge, now it's like, okay, now I got to dig deeper in my bag of tricks to dominate her. Well, that, because yeah. it, well, it has to. It depends on the woman because if she see this dominant man, then you need to know you need to tone it down because you have to allow him to be that man. No, no tone it like a little bit. Like I'm no, not no. gonna lose myself, but look, you gotta give somebody leeway. You gotta let somebody in there a little bit. If I'm just gonna be like, oh, no, no. And he's like, I'm trying. And I'm like, right here. And he's like, he don't have no room. So I have to be like, okay, let me see what he's gonna do. And I'll give you you that little space. But (laughs) see, that's both of our compromises. If you give that space of saying, okay, I know I'm headstrong, mm-hmm. but I'm this is the opening I'm going to give you to see what type of person you are. Right. Again, that's where we as men got to say we're dominant type of with dominant mentality species, mm-hmm. but we don't need to be that with women. We need to be responsible. Mm-hmm. Now, okay, now I recognize, okay, she's very strong. Here's the window. Mm-hmm. Let me recognize what's in that window. Right. Okay, let me okay. see what she's about and right. let me see what she's doing and then if if I can get into that window if I like what's in there mm-hmm. or if I'm going to be like nah you a little bit too much for me I got to back out but see the dominant would be like well you know what I see that window fuck that window I'm bashing the whole house because I want it and I'm not, I don't give a shit okay. what she thinks okay. or what she's trying to do. Right. And see, that's when, when men start lying. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. when men start, yeah. you know, Could pointing I, down at the yeah. member and saying, well, yeah. you know what? If I sling this right, mm-hmm. it don't matter what she wants. I got to give her the goods. Man, that's, man. See, that's the part of the dominating. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what we do as men. <laughs> it's like at that point, you're no longer a woman. You're mm-hmm. a trophy. And the more difficult you make it for us, Mm -hmm. the more that we're going to go into our bag to try to win that trophy. And then once we get in there, we realize either, you know what, she's too much of a problem or she ain't what I expected. Now we start looking somewhere else. And now we're like, I don't feel like fucking dealing with this shit. And then that's when we lose interest because we were just in it for the chase. See, that's where, and see, that's what I'm Back saying. That home. dominant, <laughs> you, you don't want a dominant man. You want a man who's responsible. You want a man yeah. who's, who's right. who might be an alpha, but he yeah. understands what it is that you right. are and what it is you're looking for. Okay. All right? See? That's a so we gave that's each other some game on that. You did. <laughs> Up my my words, words Both of us. Because <laughs> we were yeah, dominant because okay, responsible. Yeah. Because I used to play around and tell people all the time, you know, uh, and I used to do it too. It's horrible. Mm-hmm. And this is disgusting. Hey, Ma, if you're listening, hey. <laughs> There's the disclaimer. If you're listening, <laughs> I know you you think your your son was an angel, but you mm-hmm. should know by now or not. So <laughs> what I used to love to do is whenever I would get a woman, I would make them think I'm being romantic and be like, yeah, let's take a shower. Ooh, okay, let's take a shower. First of all, I can't stand taking showers with motherfucking women. Y'all like boiling fucking potatoes and shit. I don't know how you like the water that got dog hot <laughs> all the fucking time. It doesn't fucking make sense to me. The water should not be that damn hot. My skin is burning. <laughs> It doesn't make sense that because that, that's a problem. That's when I step in the water and see, I sit there and I put on airs, you know, because that's what a dominant does. I'm digging in my bag at this point. I'm like, you know what? I can take it. I can take it. I will get my happy ass way in the back. 
And it's, everyone would think, oh, he is so sweet. He's letting me get in the water. And cause yeah, because it's, it's fucking bag. burning. <laughs> I don't need to boil like I'm potatoes and carrots. It's stew. It's yes, like it medium is. high, you know. I ain't trying to melt my skin out. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. And if you believe that these women like to boil their men like what? potato and stew when no. they get in the shower together, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on it. I'm I don't telling know about you, it's so one. hot. So. I don't know about that one. I don't know because you would think that. I mean, I know I see the guys getting the back of the yeah. water, but my water don't be like burning. Yeah, dude. Hot, like, yeah, dude. That's why he in the back. <laughs> That's why he in the back. <laughs> If it was if it was tempered to us, we'd be like, girl, give me some of that water, man. It's cold back here. No, no. Because the whole fucking, the shower is a sauna at this point, and just the steam coming off is enough to keep us warm without touching the water. It's so oh hot. Oh, my God, you are so extra. No, Michelle Kay, when you get out the water and you're dark skin, when you get out the water and your ass is pink, dark pink, because you literally gave yourself second Green birds no. for that hot ass water. Well, when, when, when I be taking a shower and I see that the water is hot enough, I will tone it down a little bit. But we not now. If I went, to, but see, you gotta think of you got another person in the water. You gotta make it look care. extra hot, hot like. You just gotta Michelle, be on the okay. side. Do you I even turn the cold on? Do you even know that that C <laughs> on the on the spigot on the other side is for cold water? I, I Do y'all ever use it? I thought it said could be. <laughs> <laughs> could be hot. Could be cold. Could be hotter. <laughs> I don't know. No, but I'm just saying. But oh, you're so funny. You should brought the shower in this. But I've never taken too many showers with my significant others like Whoa. that so i don't know but when i have it was lukewarm we had we had it was never an issue with the water yeah yeah but i don't know they probably just don't want you in the water with them whatever no they always did but see that's what i did so what i would do because i was dominated they get in the shower i get in the back and the first thing i do i pee on them. <laughs> change the game. I barked. I barked every yeah. last one. I peed yeah. on every last one. I get in there and the water be so hot they wouldn't even know I pee right down their leg. I, mean, I sit right behind them and just pee right down their leg. I'm a ass. And then a couple times you ask her. I'm about to ask her. Ask her. And she be like he told you that? Yeah he told the world. He's over in my pocket. I done peed on him. Cause it's mine. I'm it marking my spot like a dog. Yes I was. I was marking it. It's mine. I, I sure did. Every last one. Every last one. Anybody who has had intimate relations with King Bear, guess what? You got urine down your back of your leg because I peed on you. I peed on you every last one. Every last one. Every last one. There's a couple freaky ones that want me to pee on them in their bed. I ain't even gonna go there. But yeah, I did that shit too. But it was their bed. I ain't peeing in my bed. <laughs> Significant. It'd be like, bitch, you ever pee on me in the shower? Look at his eyes. Watch his eyes and his nostrils. If his eyes like look away or his nostrils flare up, oh, he about he to lie to you. Oh, he gonna lie. Be like, or if he, he starts like, stuttering, what? 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 Where okay. would you? Why would? Why would I? Well, cause somebody said they be pissing on their old ladies. <laughs> Damn right. I pee on so many women. I, I, I said, pee on. Them. I I pee on. Oh no! I, I pee on. That was in my me. dog era. I peed on him. I peed on every last one. Every last one. Everyone that I hope we, not we done to hopped the around the set and then be like, all right, let's go take a shower. And we get in that shower. I pee on. Him. Just yeah, piss. Just I just straight pee. I stand right behind them when they in that house. You need some water? I'm like, nah. <laughs> Nah, it's, it's oh, your piss so right down they back. It sure would. They be in there soaking up and shit, and I be standing right behind them. Going I mean, leg to leg. I've been so mad at <laughs> it. <laughs> I, I think I got 
come up once, and I was just like, you mind? I, I mean, I'm on, you, I mean, <laughs> Yeah, well, at least we in the shower. I think it was one going. that caught me. Yeah, yeah. No idea. Had no idea. They be in there soaping up, getting soap on oh their face, and God. I just be peeing right down I the can't. back of their leg. I'm not I gonna do this. I'm sorry. I be going people. leg to leg. That I'm peeing no on sense. the back of the no. knees, down I'm calves. I was gonna just now you gonna have me asking questions. I sure do. I pee. I mark. I mark every last one. Oh my gosh! I sure did. See, that's. Dominant. Yeah, See, that, yeah that, that's <laughs> that's beyond dominant. I mean, that's territorial <laughs> slash dominant. Like you, this you're you right. Like you, what the hell? I hope the next nigga smell this. <laughs> you know, like the cats do, mark their territory, hide their leg up, and spray your ass. Yeah, uh, they sense it. Don't don't fuck with that one over there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Not that one, cause oh, you be on it. Like oh, that is. I don't hear it all. I don't hear it all. Now you're going to have to ask me. I'm going to have to be asking people, like, bitch, was you marking me in the shower? Yep. yep. That's you ever been in the shower? <laughs> And your man been behind you, and you you, you thought you felt it get kind of warm behind you, but you were like, maybe start mm, thinking, maybe. like no. it felt cool behind you because yeah. the air was back. And then you felt a little, <laughs> you felt a little warm, and like, then warm, like ooh, what? It? Then you, you, you don't, don't pay worry no attention. About it. <laughs> man, don't it was peeing on you. Don't do that, because now you're going to have me really thinking. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, I'm marking his territory. I'm, don't worry, as soon as I get out. I guarantee your ex husband did. Oh, yeah, he was an argumentative and, oh, and y'all, yeah, he peed yeah, on you. Trust me, he, uh, yeah. he probably did all kind of shit. He peed on you. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely marked his territory, I ain't gonna lie. That bitch probably did all kind of shit. Ooh. I used to hate getting in the shower after sex, too. But I do it just to pee. Why? Mainly I like because it. I would have somebody else on in route. Like back in my back in my whore day. Oh, back in my whore. Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, I'm that's like, not what? every time. Like, no, back in my whore days. Mm-mm. In my whore days. Well, actually, no, it's not just my whore days. I I. <laughs> oh, here we I go. liked I liked um like when I was in relationships, like long term relationships or marriages, because I haven't had a lot of those. Mm-hmm. Like I've had, I've been married three times. The time Don't is get the third. me to lie. The time is the yeah. third. Yeah, I've been married three times. <laughs> right. Don't get me lying. Let me make sure what I'm doing and I ain't thinking about Wait a minute, no. So, <laughs> I just remember the two that six, you said. In time. Yeah, I've been in six long term relationships. Okay. Three I married, and then three, like one was high school okay. uh, sweetheart, and then two other long terms that it didn't pan out. But when I was in any of those relationships, like you have sex and then after sex is over, I was one of those people that I would like to, you know, have sex until I was like damn near like at pass out level and I just want to lay in it. Like I just want to lay in it and then fall asleep in it. You know what I'm saying? That just be like, me, that be you know what I'm saying? Me, so I don't yeah. want to just jump up and yeah, get a shower. I just no. let's just lay in our juices. Yeah, I, just want, I be like, yeah. If I don't care how wet it is, exactly. Like, just, just I lay in it. Just 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 I, maybe I did wash my ass. I'm sorry. I, I might smell like my nigga today, y'all. I don't yeah. give a fuck. fuck y'all, baby. And if your dude really love you, he'd be like, Oh, you so nasty. Right, you know, he'd be like, You did what, bitch? Don't worry about it. Yeah, he's just like, so nasty. Right, like, but I you did. You still smell I, like that? Oh, you dead. I love <laughs> not. I love smelling like my dude. Like mm-hmm. that morning sex, whatever. Mm-hmm. Fuck, fuck a towel. Right. Leak it all down your leg. I ain't gonna fuck. Be at work like, oh shit, pass oh, They be like, Michelle, girl, oh, just keep. Shit. But that was me. Like, I love having the scent of my dude on me that morning. Oh. Like, I didn't mind it. I wasn't like, ill like that too mm. early. I used to tell my friend, am I crazy? Like, for thinking like that, but they, some of them be like, I don't like it. Well, bitch, you must not like your man. Cause I love mine. Oh like, my God, your girl just like it. Yeah. <laughs> because it, it doesn't bother me. Oh like, it's like, I'm telling you, then when you get that whiff of, like you know, you right? like oh shit, you can't wait to get back home. Uh-huh. Yeah, like bitch, I smell you all fucking day. Yeah, yep. you nasty ass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know I washed my ass today. 
But it, that's what made it so exciting. Like yeah. to me, yeah. like I love the scent. Like oh, I did. I yeah. don't know. I used to tell my friend. I know I was crazy, but I liked it. Yeah, I did. I I just. Just to know yeah. I'm coming back to you again, and then I'm remember all what we mm -hmm. did to get that scent. Hell yeah, bitch! Yeah. I'm not washing my ass, bitch. I'm clean still. Exactly. Mm -mm. So when I was in long term relationships, that's that was me. But mm -hmm. if it was a jump off situation or no. a one time oh, thing, no. let's get in the shower. I'm pee on you. No, you go, no. go home. Take that with you. That was only for my dude. My <laughs> dude, yeah. I don't give a fuck what you take, but I wash it. <laughs> wash my ass, bitch. I don't know you. You ain't even gonna be here tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm worried about the long term. Ooh, don't tell the truth to get that. <laughs> trying to calculate my <laughs> dude don't even worry about my oh, numbers you be mad you oh, wouldn't you wouldn't know you wouldn't want nothing over here uh, with the numbers that you had so no i am beyond tainted goods in his eyes so, and i'm okay with that like mm -mm. but it is what it is oh, everybody have their standards everybody have they look stopping point oh, hey man. go ahead but yeah y'all oh. funny you funny i don't know man no that's that's you that's crazy but ladies and gentlemen we are <laughs> we are gonna wrap this up it's been another epic talk these are awesome, man. Like, we can do this like every say. week, dude. Like, we, this, dude, topic for what? I don't even know. Why we even just started talking? Like, what is the name of this topic? I, every Talk Volume 4. That's, the, I don't even try. When it's just me and you, it's we like, yo, hit the buttons and let's rock. Cause yeah. it, it, we just rock with it. Just it just be what it is. It is. That's it. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> you got any questions or anything <laughs> wild out, anything that Michelle can say, she promises that she will personally <laughs> give you a phone call and explain <laughs> everything that she said. I don't know. You don't want my explanation because I'm being real with it. So, don't come and don't judge me later, okay? Hey, that's all I say. Don't judge me. Keep the judgment to a minimum. Because I ain't going to care anyway, but hey, it's my life. It ain't yours. Oh, my God. Yeah. Anyway, so we going to get up out of here. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. I've been King Bear in the building. Michelle K. And we're going to catch y'all on the next one. Y'all be good. Peace. Peace.